Hi, my name is Stomp Rocker 2009, and I'm going to show you how to make SFF version 2 sprites. So here we're going to go into paint. And we're just going to draw a character here. I suck at drawing, but All right. Oh, oh, there is arms. He's got really long legs. Let's give him a hat. Make my mouth. Oh yeah, he looks pretty awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to make the background. Do, do, do. You should have made this before the video, but whatever. Okay, so now that we got our sprite, we're going to save it. Just going to name it whatever. Now let's see. Man. And you want to save it as a 24 bitmap. And now you go into a fighter factory, double click, and then you go into here, palettes edit, open image, you want to go to the bitmap, go to man, oh yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Okay, now that we got our colors, this pink is the background, and put it here, the color's already black, so we put the white over here. Now we want to save this .act file. Let's call it color. Save. Now we want this sprite to use this palette. So apply the palette. All right. So now that we got our PCX file, we can erase the bitmap. Well, I'm erasing it right now because. Well, I got so much shit on my desktop. You should probably keep yours, but... Anyways, now you got that. I'm gonna go to Open Fire Factory. Change. Man. Just choose where he wants to go, so he's about here. So right here. Group 0. Image 0. Go into the... This file right here. It's gonna be in the description of the video, so look out for that. So the file name is whatever you want the SFF to be called. So we're going to call it man.sff. And this stuff right here, you don't need to edit any of that. Now right here, this is the palettes right here. So what we want to do is this is, means palette 1, the first palette. Go in here minimize it. It's called color.act, so we're going to call it color.act. Right, so that's all. And this means it range the colors range from 0 to 255 or whatever. I don't really fucking know. Anyways, this part right here means that if it's negative 1, then that means that this sprite right here uses its own palette. So instead of using this, it used the palette from big.pcx, but I never made that sprite, so I'm just going to erase that. And now here's the here's the main part. Fuck, I suck at this. Uh sprite that use palette one to one. So it uses this palette right here for all of these sprites. And so now we're going to make the group number right here, the image right number right here. Group 0, image 0. Group 0, image 0. And now I called my PCX file man. So I'm going to call it man.pcx. And, and these two numbers right here. This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. So now you want to look at this. So the x-axis is 27. And the y-axis is 113. I'm just going to erase this because I don't need it. Alright, so now that we got both of our now that got our palette, 
and the sprite. You can save that. Exit Fire Factory, we don't really need it. So now you want to copy all of these files right here, all the files that are read by it. Copy it to the Mugen. Just paste it in here. Now what you want to do is go to Start, All Programs. You go then you go to Accessories and Command Prompt. So what you want to type in is CD, which stands for Change Directory, and then you change it to desktop or whatever it is. So now it's in the desktop. So my 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 file is located in desktop slash mugen. So now you change directories again to mugen. Oops. CD. Okay, so now we're in the the mugen folder. Right here. No wait. Yeah. Wait, SPR make two. So what we want to do is open that. So SPR make two dot exe. So it opens this, it opens this right here. Then dash o, which stands for output. So this is the output. So whatever is inside the sprite is whatever the output is. So my output is man dot sff. So I type in man dot sff and do space and then you do uh then you load this file right here the def file so mine is sprite dot def there so I can exit that so here's our sff version 2 file yay I'm done so that was it.